enough to get people to talk to you and kidding. <laughs> Here I am. But basically, I mean, after all that's going on, and you know, I've been, I really hadn't been keeping up with all this new stuff. So to me, when I gave the ring back, it was a done deal. You know, it was over for me. And it, I was more surprised and shocked than anybody. But I think a lot of the hubbub is kind of like veered off the, veered off the path as far as I'm concerned. I mean, everybody's concerned about, hey, well, you, you're getting this money and you're getting this money. Which, you know, that's good. I mean, I'm happy about that. But I thought the real reason of all of this was like a teaching moment. Mm -hmm. It's because, you know, I figured, well, if people get so excited because someone gave back something that didn't belong to them, that kind of gives you an idea of what the world's coming through today. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's sad. Yeah. You know, I mean, all I did was just give something back that wasn't mine and all of this. And then I got to thinking, I said, well, I said, the good Lord had a purpose because that's been on my mind a long time. I said, well, God, what's the purpose you got? Because he's been with me so much that I started getting self-conscious. I mean, <laughs> the only thing he hasn't provided for me was a roof over my head lately, but God has been behind me step for step. So it got to the point for the last few months, I was like, well, God, don't you have somebody else to bless? I mean, I know you got it. I mean, what did I deserve to get all of this? I mean, this is before all of this stuff. I mean, I've just seen it coming. And I said, well, there's got to be somebody else. He just wouldn't leave, you know, not that I wanted him to leave, but he wouldn't leave. It was like I was the only one he was focusing on. And so I think it was a driving point. He was like trying to get me to this point. He says, hey, I'm giving you a platform here because there's people out here that need to, their eyes opened up. You know, they need to find out that they need to expand their universe a little bit bigger and include a little more people than just the one person they have inside of, which is themselves, you know. I mean, there are some things that you can do for others. And you get such a good feeling out of it. You wouldn't believe <coughs> the best two moments in my life was when I gave that ring, that ring back, you should have seen her eyes light mm -hmm. up. I mean, it was just like, it was a joy. And I'm going to tell you another incident that happened to me a little while back. I was doing my thing again. You know, everybody hates this word. I was panhandling. And this lady gives me a dollar, and I'm sitting there in front of the movie theater, and she's standing outside for about 20 minutes, and I was wondering what's going on. And this is what really drove the point home. And I was wondering what's going on. And so finally, a lady pulls up in a car, jumps out of the car, and runs over to this lady, and gives her a phone back. Now, this woman that brought the phone had drove all the way from Wichita, Kansas, dropped what she was doing to bring this lady a phone back. And the lady said, oh, let me give you some money. Let me give you some money for bringing my phone back. She said, no. She said, uh, uh I don't know any money. She said, I know how it feels to lose your phone and stuff like that, you know. She said, I've done it a lot of times. And she said, but you know what? She said, actually, I wasn't going to do it. She said, I was in the middle of work and I dropped the job. And she said, and we had the TV on. And she said, all of a sudden, she said, I've seen this news story about this guy giving some lady a ring back. And she said, that kind of inspired me. Yeah. And I was like, that's the point that's trying to be, that <coughs> everyone should be taking here, you know. I mean, if you're going to drop, I mean, that's a three-hour drive. Mm -hmm. You know, just bring someone's phone, cell phone back, and then not accept any money. And me and the lady that gave me the dollar, she knew who I was. But this lady, I guess, you know, she didn't recognize me. We're sitting there looking at each other. She's like, she's smiling, you know, and I'm smiling. But the lady even spoke to me, hey, how you doing? She didn't recognize me, and I was glad of that, you know, because I didn't bring it up. The lady didn't say anything. But Doug said I should have said something. You know, I mean, just knowing that she did that, I did, that inspired her to do that good deed. That's what this is all about, you know. It's not about me. It's not about the money. It's about getting the point across that. It's about time we start helping each other, you know. I mean, we all got something to contribute mm -hmm. to help someone else. You know, that's what I want to think. I don't want to take a lot of time, but basically that kind of speaks for itself right there, I think. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm going to let you guys get back to your life. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.